Hey guys, long time no see. I have been dying to make a video and I lost my tutorial lighting because I like to, you know, um, record tutorials. Let me put this on silent because that was just rude. I like to record tutorials in the daylight and I know it looks really bright but it's already 440 so I won't have enough time to record a tutorial. I'm going to lose the light and then I'm going to be mad. So I decided that I was going to do a tag today and the tag that I decided to do, I was just looking on YouTube for tags. And the one I'm going to do is my makeup story tag. Uh, the person's video that I found is uh, Yushante, which I love her. I follow her on Twitter and I'm subscribed to her. She's awesome. So I'm going to basically make this a video response to her video. So the first question is, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? Basically, I think I was like in middle school, probably eighth grade. That's when I started wearing makeup. And I only wore like eyeliner, like cold like um you know black pencil or brown I don't even think I wore black I think I wore brown and probably lip gloss that's all I wore and then in high school I progressed to mascara and bronzer and that was it I never wore foundation or any of that until college how did you get into makeup well if the question is how do I how did I get into makeup like an addict like I am right now it basically was because of YouTube, kind of. Um, I was looking on YouTube, I think, for a smoky eye tutorial, and I saw Fafinet, and it was all history from there. What are some of your favorite brands? Um, some of my favorite drugstore brands are Revlon, L'Oreal. Those are like my top two favorite drugstore brands. And then um, some of my favorite high ends. I love Yves Saint Laurent. I love NARS. Um, I love Urban Decay, Makeup Forever, MAC, I like MAC, um, there's so many brands I love. And now that I work at Sephora, I'm exposed to so many more products that I just love everything. I love it all. What does makeup mean to you is question number four. Makeup to me is something that you can use to enhance your beauty and to cover up things that you might not like or imperfections. Makeup should make you feel better about yourself and not make you feel like you're concealing yourself. Um, just enhancing yourself, making yourself look that extra bit beautiful to make you feel better and make you feel confident. And I just think it's a great tool for girls. You know, we all have our insecurities and makeup is just that one thing that I feel like when I wear it, I'm like, damn. I look good. If you could only wear four products on your face, what would they be? Uh, right now, like how I am right now, basically four products I would wear. Foundation. Um, foundation. Liquid liner. I'm looking at my face right now. Foundation, liquid liner, mascara, and some sort of a colored lip. If I can just wear four products. Um, cause this is the look that I have on is what I wear a lot during the weekends. It's very low maintenance, very me on the weekends, simple wing liner and a bit of a bold lip. This is a bit much. It's a max candy yum yum, but any sort of like, you know, darker lip, I like to just wear it's easy and it's quick. What is your favorite thing about makeup? Well, it was kind of what makeup means to me is kind of what my favorite thing about it. My favorite thing is that you can make somebody feel so good about themselves by putting makeup on and I'm that might sound very superficial but I mean it's makeup it is pretty superficial but the feeling like when I do a special occasion a full face makeup on somebody at Sephora that feeling that the girl gets when she looks in the mirror and she's like oh my god I look flawless I look amazing that is like one of the best feelings ever to know that you bought someone's confidence up so much what did you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup um, I basically think that what works works and sometimes you get something better at the drugstore that you can't find in Sephora for example. Some of my favorite products are from the drugstore and some of my favorite products are from Sephora. It just depends the product, depends your skin, lots of factors contribute. I can wear a Maybelline foundation, somebody else with much more sensitive skin can't wear Maybelline foundation. So I just think that if it works, it works. This is one tip of advice you could give to a beginner. Less is more. Less, less, less is more. I always tell that to all of the younger girls that come into Sephora. And, you know, you can tell that they're just getting into makeup and stuff. I always tell them, don't kick it on. You're so, and I know they hate to hear this, but you're so young. Why do you want to cover up your young, beautiful skin? Sorry, guys. So my webcam, this handy dandy thing here, it died. So I'm just going to record the rest of the tag on my... Did I say my webcam? 
my camera died, so I have to record the rest of the tag on my webcam, so I hope you don't mind. What is one makeup trend you can never understand? Um, working at Sephora, you see a lot of trends and a lot of looks that you probably would never expect. Sorry if I keep looking at the, um, not at the camera, it's because I can see myself and I'm not used to that. Um, so the one makeup trend I would say that I probably don't understand, and it's not that I don't understand it, you know, makeup is makeup and I always tell people it's what makes you feel comfortable and if you like it, rock it, like nobody's business because whatever, it's you, you know. But I would probably say the one makeup trend that I don't understand and don't like is when, especially older women, I see this a lot, wear really dark lip liner to define their lips and then a really, really, really light lipstick. I don't get it. I just, I understand you want to make your lips look more defined. Yeah, there's tons of lip liners that can give you a defined look. Does it have to be brown? And do you have to use Jizz Lip lipstick? Sorry, that's disgusting, but Jizz Lip lipstick with brown it just looks such contrast. What do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? Okay, so this is a nice ending to this video. Um, I think the YouTube community, the YouTube community, I think the beauty community on YouTube is amazing. Um, there's obviously things that are wrong with it, but that goes to say in anything in life, not everything is 100% perfect. And if that's your life, that's great. But to me, that's a pretty boring life if everything is 100% perfect. Um, there's always people that are going to, you know, ruin things and that's just how life is you have to be realistic about it there's always going to be haters there's always going to be people hiding behind a computer screen but all in all i've had nothing but amazing experiences on youtube i've met some of the most amazing people i know everybody says this but it's true if you're active in the youtube community not even if you're a um video maker if you're a subscriber you write comments you participate in the community you become, you know, we're like a family, a weird, long-distance family. Um, and I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I would never meet some of the people I know here. I would not have some of the technique that I have as a makeup artist if it wasn't for YouTube. And I wouldn't have some of the product knowledge that I have if it wasn't for YouTube. So YouTube, beauty community, is so amazing. I learn things from people that are 15, people that are... 50 people that are my age like it's awesome all ages all sexes all whatever it's like a free-for-all and i love it i love it i love it i love it if you guys enjoyed this tag sorry for the little camera change at the end but wanted to get a video out to you guys because i miss you so much um little update really quick i'm going to be making a lot more videos on youtube because i brought a car last weekend so I'm gonna have a lot more time I won't have to leave as early to catch the bus and I just have to make videos for you guys I'm so happy and the semester is over so <laughs> Christmas break tons of time to make videos it's crazy so um, my next video is going to be well it's not going to be posted here it's going to be posted on the collection B I think on their YouTube page and definitely on their Facebook page I'm doing a holiday look for them, for them a day to night look. It's gonna be sexy. I'm recording that tomorrow, so it'll probably be, probably be up next week, so you guys can watch it. And if you have any requests, anything, leave me a comment down below, down there, and that's it. So I hope you guys are doing amazing and you're having a great December. Christmas is coming up. You all better be good girls. Let's see and everybody do nice things and or the girls and boys, because I know there's boys out there too. And yeah, I love you all. Bye.